Mary, Queen of Scots, was smitten and overcome with passion for her cousin, Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley. She described him as the lustiest, best proportioned long man that she had seen. Though they had met before, it was in February of 1565, after Darnley had been formally presented to Mary, that she became infatuated. Just a few months later, on July 22nd, here at St. Giles Cathedral, the bans of marriage were proclaimed for all to hear. That afternoon, Darnley was made Duke of Albany. And on July 28th, heralds announced that Darnley would be named King of Scotland after their wedding the next day. The couple were wed in...